Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hollywood Actors Guide to Surviving the Film and Television Industry. This is your host, Jennifer Lynn Warren. I'm going to take it back a little bit, get a little more simple, talk about being classy, as in you should be in class, because almost all of the emails I've gotten in the past month have been from actors from whom I have asked for resumes or reels and they don't have anything, um, or they send me like their resume with past like employment on it like they worked at a restaurant and things like that which means that some of you guys are very much stuck on the basics even if you're an advanced actor you might want to just get a little motiva motivated with this for a moment knowing first of all a lot of your quote competition are still at the beginning and if you are a beginning actor the fact that you don't know how to even properly send a resume means that a you haven't listened to the podcast from the beginning so you should go back and do that because all the information is there and b you're not in the game at all and it doesn't matter how much talent you have you need to get this information and the best way to get information in this business is to be in class or one of the best ways now being in class has a lot of different connotations I'm currently watching a lot of the master classes right now, partly because my ability to be in a scheduled class right now is not possible. Anything that I do do with a coach or a teacher right now is pretty much like individual, like one-on-ones, like how Michael Testa, who's a casting director, he's been doing these great uh, workouts that I've been doing um, about one or two a month with him where I pay him, you know, I, I think it's like $35, $40 right now. He sends me a scene, I put it on self-tape, he sends me notes, I retape myself, and then we get together on the phone, we FaceTime, and we talk about my performance, which has been fantastic because it's kind of like being in little mini classes. And Jesse Eisenberg has a great quote. He says, in acting class, you're trained to express yourself as much as you can. I would say in a really great acting class, you're trained to express yourself as much as you can and I want everyone to list at least five classes you could take near you that could help expand you as an artist and you can find this through a simple Google search if you're from Altoona Pennsylvania just Google Altoona Pennsylvania acting classes I promise they're there I took them in high school so I know there's still some in that area they are everywhere you shouldn't take all of them at once but if you have an idea of which classes you want or could possibly take and you write it down, you'll be more likely to take the step and sign up. That also goes to my more advanced actors of looking at your resume, seeing where do I have a hole? What am I almost booking but not booking? Are there classes geared towards that genre? Is that casting director teaching anything? Are there coaches that work with actors who have booked a lot on that show? teaching anything. There's so many things that you could be doing, but do your research in your journal, which you should all be having. Take notes on where and when and how much the class is so that if you need to make some money, you can jump on We Audition, who's still a sponsor, become a reader for actors, make some money and use that money to take acting classes. Look up the teacher, see what kind of work they have done, write down what you will gain from it, so that when you contact them about the class, expectations are set, but don't get overwhelmed with options. Depending on your situation, you could decide to do the cheapest one first, just to see if you even like acting, or the one that has the easiest schedule for you, or the one that's closest to home, or the one that scares you the most, or the one you pull out of a hat, but at least make a list and now go to class. If acting is truly the thing that makes you happy and you're depressed when you are not doing it, this is the fastest and best solution for you. Even if you're the most talented person in the world, you can't deny that you won't be happy getting up in front of an audience every week performing your favorite work. Every town has an acting class or a community theater. Do plays if no classes currently are available. And we're now in the time of Zoom, so there are hundreds of classes available on your computer so nobody anywhere now has any more excuses a last resort is starting a group of your own where you can read plays out loud there's a solution for everything 
read everything. Watch YouTube videos about acting. Read the trades podcast. You're doing that. Watch the Oscar winning performance movies. Study the Criterion Collection. You know, the Criterion is a collection of what's considered the best films ever made to get an understanding of film. Watch Masterclass. I, I mean, there's so many things that you could be doing. And I guess I'm talking about this today because it's on my mind because I am kind of stuck in this like, oh, there's about three classes right now that I really like teachers I really want to get in with and to study. And I just cannot get their schedule to match my schedule right now. But before we go, let's talk about some acting techniques. If you're a beginner, you'll hear people talk about classical acting. This is like an umbrella term for a philosophy of, philosophy of acting that integrates like the expression of the body, voice, imagination, personalization, improvisation, external stimuli, script analysis. It's based on theories and systems of select classical actors and directors, including Stanislavski, you know, people like that. So when they talk about classical acting, Probably it's, I think my guess is though, I don't, you know, I don't know what year, if there's a year based on it, but I would say that anything between before maybe like the 1950s and 60s might be considered classical. If you know, I would love for you to shoot me an email because I cannot seem to find like where the line is drawn. You've heard about the Stanislavski system. It's also known as the Stanislavski method. This is where actors draw upon their own feelings and personal experiences to convey the truth of the characters they are portraying. The actor puts themselves in the mindset of the character, finding things in common in order to give a more genuine portrayal of the character. You've heard of method acting. This is a range of techniques. It's used to assist acting people in understanding, relating to, and portraying their characters. And it's formulated mostly by Lee Strasberg. Strawber Strawbers, Strasberg's, thank you, the articulation method is based upon the idea that in order to develop an emotional and cognitive understanding of their roles, actors should use their own experiences to identify personally with their characters. It's based on aspects of Stanislavski's system. Other acting techniques are also based on, on Stanislavski's ideas, such as those of Stella Adler and Stanford Meisner, but these are not considered, quote, method acting. Let's talk about Michael Chekhov. You should have heard of him. He developed an acting technique, a psychophysical approach in which transformation working with impulse, imagination, and inner and outer gestures are central. It offers clear and practical tools when working with the imaginations, feelings, and atmosphere. Uh, the, the creative individuality is supposed to allow the, art, the actor, the artist, to use parts of themselves that are not just the smaller, more meaner, more banal elements that make up their daily life, but rather parts of their unconscious where dwell more universal and archetypal images. Like his acting technique has been used by actors such as Jack Nicholson, Clint Eastwood, Marilyn Monroe. So, you know, well known. Meisner, I know you've heard of Meisner. The Meisner technique requires that the actor to focus totally on the other actor as though they are real and they only exist in that moment. This is a method that makes the actors in the scene seem more authentic to the audience it is believed. It's based on the principle that acting finds its expression in people's response to other people's circumstances. It's also based on Stanislavski's system. Everything goes back to Stanislavski. That's why I think that it's great if your first classes are Stanislavski classes, but they don't have to be. Stella Adler is an actress, um, an acting teacher I know you've heard of. Her technique is founded on an actor's ability to imagine a character's world. So Adler believed that the over-reliance on like personal and emotional memories that you've, you've had limits an actor's range. So her technique encourages actors to expand their understanding of the world in order to create compelling performances. So she taught her actors to deliberately observe 
like the textures and aesthetics and sounds of everyday life, like enabling them to conjure like detailed and realistic and mental images on stage, right? Or on screen. Practical aesthetics is an acting technique originally conceived by David Mamet and William H. Macy. It's also based on the teachings of Stanislavski, Stanford Meisner, and a Stoic philosopher. So some key features of the method include a particular method of script analysis, adaptability, and repetition exercises similar to those in the Meisner technique. There's also the Brechtian method, where Bertolt Brecht developed an epic drama style that relies on audiences' reflective detachment rather than emotional involvement. Um, there's a unique method coming out of the Romanian school of acting, and then there's Uta Hagen's school of acting. Like, I, I, I'm bringing all of this up to also say that if you've had one acting class, you haven't been to acting class. And I've had a lot of actors ask me, how do I break down a script? It's because I have studied everything that I've just said. I have done, if there's a new method of acting somebody's telling me about, I'm, I'm going to go do it. I've even done the groundlings, like, cause, cause like, I think improv is a completely different type of acting training, right? And so what do I do? I do all of them. I, I think that Stanislavski is right. You have to draw on your own feelings and your own emotions to find the truth. I think method acting is is absolutely right. You know, like you you have to develop like a, an emotional and a mental understanding of your role. Chekhov is right. You know, you, you've got to work with like gesture because, you know, anytime you move, it informs your brain and your heart how to feel. If you know, you know how a depressed person sits and stands up. Meisner was right. You have to make the scene about the other character. It has to be about the other character. And you have to, even though you've, you've done all the work, like the Stan Soski and the Method and the Chekhov, and, and you've developed everything on your own, in the moment, you need the Meisner technique to be able to react. And Stella Adler is right. We haven't lived every life. I've never been a drug addict. I've never been a murderer. But I need to be able to use my imagination to be able to develop those characters because Stanislavski will fail me there if I'm only drawing on my personal experiences or I'm trying to make like parallels that aren't, that aren't working. And so if, you have, if you've been to acting class, you haven't been to acting class because like this is just one of those things that you never, ever, 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 ever stop working on or stop learning. So I hope that this helps give you a broader understanding of all the different things that you could be working on. If any of those sound exciting to you, if you're like, well, I've never done like, um, you know, I, I don't know who Bertolt Brecht is, or I, you know, never done Meisner, then look up Meisner stuff near you. Go try a class. A lot of classes will let you try them for free or find someone who's teaching it online. And then there's the Alexander Technique. Goodness, that's a class that I started and then I didn't get to finish and I'd like to, to find again because I think that might be my weakest link right now, which is like a very physical based, like, and breathing based acting technique, which is super freaking cool. So that is it, my friends. We are still being sponsored by weaudition.com. If you would like to practice your cold reading skills, because that's a whole other skill that we need as actors, go on weaudition.com right now. Use promo code HAG25, H-A-G-2-5, to save money to only spend $7.50 a month to be a member of this community. And people will pay you to help them get off book and read signs and help with their auditions, which is so freaking cool. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys this week. Break a leg and remember you are not alone.